recipe and put it in my water into my bowl and to the water I'm going to go in with some salt now you'll notice I'm adding salt in here and the reason why is because we don't need the salt to proof and get really fluffy we're gonna be making more of a, a crispier pizza so if you wanted to let your um, your yeast proof of course you can do that so now I'm gonna go in with my yeast right and the baby wants to try everything so add in your yeast and in goes a little bit of olive oil Mama, try. and then we're going to mix this now I'm using my Danish dough hook you just want to dissolve that salt that's in there wow. now to this I'm going to start adding in my flour Mama, try. and wow. we're going to add the flour a little at a time and mix once it starts to come together, add in some more flour. More flour! Mix. Mix. And I'm making this pizza because my son insists that he wants pizza today. So you know how it is when quarantine and the kids make requests. So he's like, mommy pizza please, mommy I want pizza please. And he's making sure to say please. So we're gonna mix this until it starts to come together. Okay, once that comes together, you wanna go in with your hand because you'll think that it needs more liquid, but it, when it actually doesn't because it's really sticky at this point. So now we need to go in and bring the rest of that dry flour into this dough. And we're going to knead this for about five minutes. Okay, once your dough is nice and smooth and you form it into a bowl after you finish kneading it for that five minutes, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over this, just a little, and just rub that on both sides. And we're just gonna let this rest for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna cover that. My kitchen is nice and warm. Put this in a warm place so that it, it proofs really quickly. And then I'll see you guys right back once it's time to roll it out. Okay guys, once your dough has finished resting for about 10 minutes, you're going to notice it's not gonna rise pretty high. It's gonna give you a little rise. So I'm just gonna punch down on this. So just flour your work surface. This dough feels really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this out to about a quarter of an inch thickness because it will puff up slightly when it goes into the oven. And remember guys, this is gonna make a really big pizza, about an 18 inch. So if you wanted um, a smaller pizza, please break your dough into a half. So guys, once you roll out your dough, we're gonna spritz some oil on whatever you're putting your dough on. I'm just gonna set this aside, pick up the dough, and then place it on here. So guys, our family, we don't like red sauce on our pizza, so we just either put some ketchup, which I'm gonna omit today, and I'm gonna start with some mozzarella cheese. Use whatever you che whatever cheese <laughs> you have. And we like it cheesy, so I guess this is the only thing we would make that has extra cheese in it. So we start with a base like that. And then to that, I'm going to add on some shredded carrots. Now I'm using whatever I have in my refrigerator and pantry for this, so feel free to add what you guys have or what you guys like. I'm going to go on with some chopped onions and my oven just came up to temperature which is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and you'll notice how small I have everything cut and it's cut like that for even distribution. Now I'm going to go on with some chopped tomatoes and I took the seeds out of the tomatoes to try to keep this as dry as possible. And then next I'm going to go on with some chopped bell peppers. And I'm using green you can use whichever one you have on hand 
You guys see how easy it is to put on when you cut everything into small cubes? Go on with some mushrooms. Now the mushrooms I did not cut up into cubes. It's actually in pieces already. So I'm just putting that throughout. Now to this, I love pine and a lot of you don't. So if you don't love pineapple on your pizza, hey, you don't have to put it. Just put what you like. We're going to go on with some bacon. That's what they want. They want bacon. So I'm going to indulge them. Put some bacon, although I don't like bacon on my pizza. So I'm actually using cut up salami meat for this. And this is turkey salami because as you guys know we don't eat beef okay the last ingredient we're gonna finish with some cheese and you can put as much or as little cheese as you want when you're making your pizza so guys this is going to go into my oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes um, depends on how thick you make that crust because my crust is thin it's gonna probably finish in 20 minutes so I'm gonna pop this in and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done okay guys the pizza is finished Ooh, look at that look how amazing this looks Okay, so let's cut into this. I want you guys to listen closely. I want you to hear how crispy it is. I don't know if you all can hear that. But it's really, really crispy. So guys, look at this pizza. Look how it's standing up just by holding it. Perfectly thin crust. And it's gonna be really crunchy, really delicious. Now I'm not gonna bite from the, the middle here, but I'm gonna bite from this end. I'm sure you guys can hear that. If you want a really nice thin crust pizza, you're welcome. Mmm, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Make it and let me know. Comment. Let me know if you make it. I want to hear from you guys. It's time to eat. I'm so tired. I had a really long day. So I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.